like this. Don't look. Filthy looking pile of wax had been dumped in a corner. Stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all the searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the wax, did I finally find my Rachel? It says don't look. No. He's doing it anyway. I, I, I pressed on no. I pressed on no, but he still did it. He didn't, he didn't care about what I said. The wax were wet, matted, covered in dirt and grime. But inside a tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If he wasn't there, where was she? What had I been searching for this entire time? Remember the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there, and I won't find her anywhere else. Because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs, the pain in my leg just a dull ache now, and sat down in our my bedroom. My mind was spinning and the egg I fe felt before was near crippling. Finally I could no longer fight the exhaustion and as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this, I must have drifted off. So strange. I I guess these books were all actually mine then. It was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman store that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? Norman store, the forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? Yes, we see in it. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? Okay, we can go through the front door now. Oh, that's not the front. Wait, what? I had that old TV for so long. I don't know if I could ever replace it. Wait, what? But... It was the letter I had taken from the post box. It had gotten a bit wet in the rain, but if... Well, who wrote that letter then? Who was Norman seeing? Oh no, Norman. If I was, if I was wrong about Rachel then, what about him? Did I do that horrible thing to him? You know, that's that's what I thought that's what I said. That's that's what I thought the whole time. Like we were the thing. Yes. Yes. I I must have. But why? Did we fight or was I tricked into thinking he was sneaking around with well wait with Rachel? What was happening to me? My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents on it. It used a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I had left it somewhere. Eight names written alongside those odd marks in different colors were printed in that notebook. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly Rose. I recalled the names I saw scratch out on that old desk deep within those musty tunnels. Was the man in that house really up to something? I feel like we were those. We are this man in the house. Okay, let's go back up. We didn't check any everything there. Mm. 
In the dirty fake class I looked like nothing more than a faint shadow. I used to tell myself that Rachel was the one who wanted to keep the top. It was the keycard I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through the door. It seemed to me that, that it was probably Norman's. But if, it, but if that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Um, did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Now I'm getting a bit confused, now it's really getting... Uh, whew. No, somebody else was using that locker room, but who? Can't really... The laptop was dead, but I found some notes and loose paper in a drawer where I had found the key. It was the yellow sticky note with an eight digit code on it. There's stuff, did I take it? Yes. The code looked like it might be for the safe, but what kind of phrase was that? I mean, I know that this game probably changes the ending and the whole story uh, if you take different decisions, but still, that, that's still kind of hard to make make a sense of all of this. Let's try to open it. Yes, there was a poorly framed photo of what looked to be a small headstone in a graveyard. It was tucked away peacefully under a beautiful old maple tree. Underneath it was another sheet of paper. This looked like some kind of MRI printout. It showed the top view of a brain scan. I noticed the button of the scan had two whitish patches on it. It didn't recognize either image. Finally, at the bottom of the pie was a simple white envelope. The front of it read, do not open until I tell you. I guess this was a good time as any to see what was inside. Did I open the envelope and read what was inside? Yes. I tore open the env envelope uh, and removed the yellow lined paper inside. On it was a letter, written in a hand that looked familiar. The letter read, I know this whole event will, has probably been pretty difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me to, well maybe you can, that, that isn't m meant to be an excuse but well, I hope you can better understand why I've done what I've done. Moving to this town seemed like a, like such a dream, a quiet place to get established, to live out our lives, and to be together. But you know as well as I do that things quickly change. Your drinking was one thing, but as you grew more stent, as you retreated into that world of yours, well, it was clear you didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you never needed me at all. But it took me all this to make you realize. In the end, though, you may never forgive me for this. You may, not, you may never forgive yourself, but this is probably for the best. You'll be healthier for this. I'm just sorry it had to happen this way, Rachel. So she was... So she, so she did exist. Seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I, f maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. You think so? Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take that last look. Everything smelled musty and old down there. Well, but. If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm and safe place and do something about it. If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? No. No, no, there were other means of dealing with this. Can't go through there. Do I need to find something else first? The pile of mail on the floor I now saw was addressed to me. Bill's credit card offers a letter from the bank that were all addressed to me. 
that was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and say goodbye to the nightmare forever? No. I didn't deserve to go, not just yet. So I see two opportunities now. We could leave or we could kill ourselves with the knife. How many breakfasts had I eaten there, completely alone? Did he write the message to himself? I must have locked the door, there was no reason to return to the backyard anyway. Right, I want to search through the house for a bit longer now. Because I, 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 there's a sh maybe there's some other kind of fake the trick. Maybe there's something else. When I came to, he was already on the floor. Nothing. Because we can kill ourselves or we can escape. more I thought of Norm and the words I started to feel. It was a piece of junk, but I couldn't read or thought anything newer. I think there are only those two opportunities. There was only one set of toiletries by the sink. When was the last time I showered? I smelled awful. So the thing is, should we just go or should we kill ourselves? I mean, we are guilty, we did kill those people, I'm sure about it. I could take this to a warm safe place and do something about it. No. I can't break through this. I mean we did already break through it, we can't go there. I uh Let's take the knife. Yes, I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. Oh, I have a slight suspicion now. If we go to the bathroom now. old cloth for the bathtub hadn't been cleaned nearly enough. Still, it would probably do. You showed me the truth. I wasn't sure there was any reason to keep on going. So what do you think? Shouldn't I just end this misery? Uh, I mean, I guess Maybe it's just too hard to live with that guilt. I I guess maybe. Uh, yes, okay, fuck it, we do it. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I, I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Tricking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense some time after that, and my memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it? even be possible to bounce back from everything that I had ha that had happened, everything I'd seen. You know, in a way, I almost wish I had even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. For starters, the man I had found in that old place. Who had killed him and why was I even there? After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. 
The security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? And what had I been doing at Bowman's place or even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. Had I been responsible for what happened there? What did you think? Was I guilty or was I just mad? That forest though was no escape either. That notebook especially left me troubled. I remembered seeing a similar list on the desk back in the tunnels. Who were the girls, the girls mentioned there? I suspected there was more to those woods than I knew, though I had no intention of going back. But anyway, Norman could have, couldn't have been the one going back to the factory, so who else could it have been? Maybe that other man I found, or maybe it was just the guard all along? You know, you really, you've really skew, screwed me up, I feel like I can't trust the damn thing I've seen anymore. I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's where my perspective on all this really started to change. Norman, you bastard, I had killed you and it was clear to me now why. You had taken Rachel from me, you were going to take her away altogether. In the end you got what you deserved, but as painful as all of that was, Oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had seen and done, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea though that it was only the beginning. When I had first stepped through his kitchen door, its silence had been unnerving. But to think that I went through all of that completely unaware of what I would discover. Had I killed Norman thinking that he and well, that there was something going on. Everything that I held dear and true was now spinning around me. I had nothing to ground me, nothing to give me purpose or even the faintest hope of reason. Without Rachel, without what I thought was Rachel, I was lost forever. I drew a warm bath in the old tub and undressed. I wonder how many times I had done this before and thought about doing what we're about to do now. No, no, don't look away. It's actually really easy, really peaceful. See, I just keep my arms in the water as I make the cuts. It stings, it stings, but I can't really feel anything after that. Really, I'm just getting tired now. I have to thank you. This hasn't been easy, but you were right. This was the only way. Fuck me. Oh god. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely say that's an extremely bad ending. I don't know if there are good endings, probably, but we just... Oh, we just got the ending that feels like the fucking worst. Damn. Home is dedicated to my wife Nancy, watch your back. The end. Wow. That was really good. I really enjoyed this. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I could show some of the other endings, but I think I... I walked my way. And I'm, I have to live with this, with those decisions now. Um, yeah, ex very, very good game. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, very dark ending for me. But as always, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you are with me the next time we play a sp uh, spooky horror game or adventure and as always take care of yourself and goodbye